How's it going YouTube? Today we're going to do a comparison between Rosari and Shenhe, or Ayaka for his teams. But before we go any further, most of you that view my videos aren't subscribed. Let's fix that. If you don't want Bennett to die in a dark cave to fish apps, then I suggest you subscribe. Back to the video. The question I had was, can Shenhe buffs outperform my C6 Rosaria when paired with Ayaka? The potion event was the perfect opportunity to test this since I'm not willing to invest prima gems and resources into building an extra character at the moment. The event had Shenhe on an R1 Favonius Lance with 2 piece Gladiator and 2 piece Shimanawa, which the artifacts will help with increasing buff damage. On the other hand, my Rosaria has an R5 Favonius Lance with 2 piece Noblesse and 2 piece Blizzard Strayer to increase her burst damage output. Since I have Mona on a 4 piece Noblesse, my team still benefits from the 20% attack increase. Shenhe on one hand offers a multitude of buffs, burst decreasing Kyra resistance by 6%, as well as a 15% Kyra damage bonus and skill providing damage bonus by 15%. These buffs manifest subtly, but can greatly improve Ayaka's damage. Rosari on the other hand offers little in the way of buffs besides a 15% crit rate bonus from her passive talent, as well as at C6 a 20% physical resistance decrease. C6 really only offers a tiny buff to someone like Ayaka and not a substantial one. The only issue the potion event posed was a ley line effect. Normal attacks create standard steel stacks which increase normal attack damage by 5%, stack up to 8 times, and trigger every 1.5 seconds. This didn't factor in too much but was still something to consider. Since I didn't use potions, that didn't make a difference between the two characters. From listening to theory crafters in the community, the best way to get the most out of Shenhe during an Ayaka burst window is to use Shenhe's skill first for the beginning of the burst window, since you can hold on to the Icy Quill stacks before proccing them, and then before Ayaka's burst ends use the skill again for an extra damage boost. Obviously learning a new rotation on a character isn't something you learn while doing an event, instead over a period of time. That's why you'll see me swap to her and not really have anything to do since I've got the timings wrong. In a quick swap team, timings are pretty important, especially in freeze where you're juggling freeze uptime, BB shred, and energy particles for a hungry carry like Ayaka. To be fair to Shenhe, she has a really enjoyable playstyle. Like Xiao in my opinion, their elemental skills gotta be the smoothest in Genshin. I can see a buff to the team damage, but it feels a bit clunky with the other members. When it comes to Rosaria, her kit just feels so much smoother and fits better into the global cooldowns of the timings. Even if Rosaria and Shenha shared the cost of bursts at 80 instead of Rosaria's being 60, C4 just guarantees uptime with 5 energy for crit hits off her skill, and that's kind of important since it makes you not have to worry about her when you're on another character. In conclusion, Rosaria and Ayaka Freeze felt much stronger against the Ruin automations than Shenha. I also performed the same comparison with the stage that had Geo Vishaps, since my thought process was to fight mobs that can be more often found in higher floors of the Spiral Abyss. During the recording, the Spiral Abyss at the time had Geo Vishaps on floor 12, chamber 2. However, with this comparison, the results were comparable with a couple second lead for the team with Rosaria. At the time of editing this video, it's comparable to the current Spiral Abyss if you combine Floor 11 Chamber 1's first half and the first half of Floor 12 Chamber 3. This video was a lot different than my previous ones, with an emphasis on more complex concepts so it took a bit longer to make. I hope it was an enjoyable video. If there was anything I overlooked or missed, let me know in the comments below, and if Shenhe is your favorite, tell me I'm wrong. If you did, it helps me a lot if you liked the video, and if you want to see more Genshin related content, subscribe.